Good morning, folks, from the Irish Lunatic Asylum, the, the biggest uh, lunatic asylum in the world. It's called Ireland. Um, this morning, uh, the, a guy in the Senate um, said that uh, that uh, all the terrible things that happen to people who are uh, odd or different to the rest of us, like, you know, gay, uh, LGB, or whatever, all this sort of stuff, that uh, that the attack on these people begins with uh, people making jokes about them, and then it progresses, and people absorb the jokes, and then they go off and attack these these people. So um, that uh, that that uh, reminds me of a joke um, about. Um, these three traveling community people who died in a high speed crash and they went uh, passed over and went up to the pearly gates saint peter was there checking a long queue of people trying to get in so when they got to the top of the queue saint peter had a look at them and he didn't like their appearance or demeanor and he said uh, look hang on here for a second will you guys i have to go inside and check with higher authority so uh, St. Peter returned five minutes later and the guys, the three guys were gone. And he said to the next guy in the queue, Why, where are the three guys that were here a minute ago? And they said, uh, they, they've gone, they, they left. And he said, Peter said, what do you mean they've gone? They, they, they left. Where, where, did, where did they go to? And the guy in the queue says, look, look around you. They've just left. I, I don't know where they've gone, but you can see they took everything. The gates, even the gates are gone. <laughs> anyway, there's 25 parrots in the door and they are singing from a hymn sheet, the same as the Irish Times and the same as RTE. Grit.ie made a very short and entertaining video of them all parroting from the same hymn sheet about international obligations. Uh, it seems this word now is being rammed down the throats of every citizen in Ireland. Uh, the guys uh, in Dollard must be getting a bit worried that there's so many people concerned about the plantation or the invasion. They're not the only ones. I mean, God, it's, it's happening everywhere. It's just unbelievable. I mean, that tragedy in Greece is just an example. The guys that arrive in Ireland, I don't know how they manage it. They must have a few quid more in their pocket to be able to uh, get uh, false passports and, and arrange a flight uh, in, in great comfort. But God help the poor, uh, the, the poor people who are pay, probably paid thousands of euros to um, traffickers to cross the deadly straight to the Mediterranean from Libya and Tunisia, the two main setting off points for these people. This literal, this massive invasion to Europe, um, it's uh, even the European Union, uh, now Parliament, I think they've washed their hands of being able to control it and they won't tell the people they can't control it. But, you know, if they can't control it, where do we all end up? I mean, there are no jobs. There are not jobs even for our own people. What well, what's going to happen? Are we going to end up like Sweden, where um, uh, all these people are living in barrios and even outside Paris? Uh, you go to Paris these days, and you will not see um, a white face there, uh, except a few American tourists. Uh, now, Paris. Uh, the the French had a lot of colonies in North Af in Africa and all over the place, and uh, so they may owe something to some of the people that arrived there. But um, it's um, it's an endless stream, and uh, nobody seems to be able to contain it, or have the will to contain it. Uh, except the Chinese, they seem to be investing in Africa, and uh, in exchange for the minerals mineral wealth uh, that they urgently need for their industries, they are providing infrastructure uh, in a number of countries. They're uh, giving soft loans to uh, the African nations on the basis that they use the money to provide uh, railways and highways and 
proper infrastructure so that, uh, for example, farmers in outlying areas can get to the market with their produce before it goes rotten. So as far as I can see, China, the influence of China uh, is taking over from the American uh, and the European rapacity and colonial, uh, colonial, colonizi colonization, is that the word? Of the past decades and centuries. The Chinese uh, make sure that the things that they give the lo loans for are done and built and the money is not sent to some uh, private bank account in uh, Switzerland as has been the case heretofore with a lot of the cash that was so allegedly invested in Africa by European governments and Americans etc etc so it's a big big mess folks and the fact is there are no jobs there, there are jobs in Ireland very menial jobs but uh, these people that come here will never be able to afford a house they'll always be living off the state they'll always uh, have they'll have to wait 10 years until the government provides them with some kind of little house to live in and then even then the income they will get will not be enough to support them and their family and pay for electricity and uh, heating and and food and everything that goes with it so um you know, that's fine. I hope it continues good for Ireland and we keep getting 25 billion a year from the big multinationals in taxes. Because if that ever dries up in the next 10 or 15 years, and we're left with m m hundreds of thousands of people depending on the mercy and goodness of Irish government handout, taxpayers funded, uh, Things are going to get bad. Things are going to get very rough, folks. Good luck from the deadliest coalition government ever. Uh, Facebook page. That's mine. Cheers. Bye.